What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rants R Us. As always, with me on audio is my co-host Lance. Say hi, Lance. Hey, guys. And as always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. All right. So, will Doctor Strange or Vision be the one to put an end to Wanda's madness, or will it be someone else? What do you think, Lance? Here on WandaVision. Oh, man. I actually, you know, I'm intrigued with the whole Doctor Strange thing now that it's been brought to my attention. But and before I even thought about Doctor Strange, I thought it was going to have to be Vision. Like, mm -hmm. for sure. Like, it's got to be. Mm -hmm. But now I don't know. But I think one of them will have to. Somebody's going to have to stop her. You know, I, always, I kind of wonder if we're going to be seeing a... Uh, if this is going the the reason why the the uh, uh, Doctor Strange uh, entices me the the idea that he would be the one to actually end her uh, or end this madness that she's created here in WandaVision is you know of course you know you know in in uh, Doctor Strange too there's going to be you know the whole thing with the multiverse and mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is it called? The uh, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, or something along those lines. Right. Is the yeah. name of the is the title of it, and she's rumored to be the main villain of it. So how cool would that be if it this show leads into that movie, and then the movie be the basic you know I, I, I could uh, I could actually kind of see it going that way but I also think that Marvel has in their mind that the future of the Marvel MCU is going to be through episodically instead of movies now yeah I actually, I actually think so too I think they were a little bit concerned at first they didn't really know how fans would in, uh, be excited about this I'll admit I, I was kind of hesitant about it I was hesitant about the first two episodes of this show, but, you know, man, this really did prove me wrong. I mean, uh, I've enjoyed no, it. I've really enjoyed no, it. No, I, I, I really enjoyed the last two episodes, uh, episode three and four, I think it is. But, uh, the first two episodes, I was like, what know, is like, this? What is going you know? on here? <laughs> you know, I know, I know. I was that way, too. Uh, now... The reason, but the reason why I think uh, Doctor Strange would be the perfect person to actually be the one that takes her down is because if you send anybody into that world, they are going to be kind of like what uh, Monica Rambeau was, where the world kind of takes, uh, you know, kind of brainwashes you into, Twins, you know, yeah. not really understand what's going on. He could, he would be the only one. That would really be able to go in there, and he could cast a uh, you know a spell around and, himself or whatever. You know, I would him. almost I'd almost agree with you, except for the reason I think it might be Vision is because there's a reason they're making it on the show where he's mm -hmm. starting to figure things out. Yeah, he, but see, the thing with Vision, I think the thing with Vision, it would be more heartbreaking if it was Vision that has to be the one that ends her. Uh, but it would almost be kind of, you know, how she actually did kill him, you know, before, you know, Thanos replayed it back, and then, of course, Thanos tore, took the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the stone and uh, killed him. So, technically, mm -hmm. it would almost be like a redo of that, where Vision's the one that has to end her this time, and that, mm -hmm. to me, would be just heartbreaking in itself. Um, but there's also almost like a poetic justice to it. It like, is. It, it is, and wow. it would be, I think, really fitting. Um, but, again, you know, the the only reason why I keep going back to the Doctor Strange thing, too, is because from a movie standpoint, you know, them making this movie and her being rumored to, you know, be a part of it makes me think that... Um, that you know there is they're gonna have that this movie is gonna somehow tie into this and you know yeah i mean you could you could be completely right if there's truth behind the rumors do you think that yeah exactly or do if the think, rumors are just coming out that way because she's kind of looking like the villain right now 
do you, you know, th- I, do you do you believe that Wanda <laughs> could be at, it, it, all of that could be completely and totally wrong, and Wanda could be the one that just kind of ends it all, like ends you know stops what she's doing, uh, accepts the fate of of you know of course her brother and and her lover, and uh, you know just lets it be, or do you think she will be? kind of just go for this no matter what the consequences are see i don't know really what to think like i almost want to think that you know how we talked about that uh grim reaper thing being linked to a main villain and i kind of think that there could still be a possibility that that villain is controlling wanda there's, like maybe she she might not have no control of what she's really doing you know could be and there's one sentence that makes it where that possibility uh, come true. And that was in um, episode four when it said that somebody is editing this show. And it yeah. wasn't Wanda. Right. So so it could, there could actually be somebody behind the scenes. You know, she's creating the world around it, but she's not editing these episodes to be in the way that they are. Like so, no, there's, because you remember, there's, like there's things show. that happen. There's things that happen that confuse her. Yeah, and if she yeah. was in control of everything that you know. Yeah, it almost kind of seemed like she, uh, at times. Because you remember the, when they were talking to her through the radio, trying to get her attention about who's mm-hmm. doing this to. You. It was that other lady broke the glass to distract Wanda from the radio. Yeah, I know. It, it, it made me think. I mean, there's a couple times in this series. I can't remember that, her name. You know her name. Yeah. Uh, uh, but they, there was one that, um, uh, or a few parts in this series that have made me think uh, she's under some sort of spell. Uh, I mean, she just sometimes, like, like even with, um, you know, with the well, heart yeah. in episode one. The first thing I was going to say, when like, he starts choking, what's going on. he starts choking and they all pause for a little while. Yeah. Like, they didn't know what to do, him yeah. or her either, until she was finally like, help him. Yeah. Yeah, she, you know, acted, so, like she, she acted like it kind of confused like she, him. It, it was almost like she broke up. It was almost like she had broke away from whatever was controlling her long enough to get vision to save that guy's life. Yeah. So, so like, uh, well, I mean, think about even the or maybe she just, stuff. or maybe she didn't even react because everybody in that world's already dead. Yeah. So it really didn't matter. I don't know. Like, well, I, the, I still have a lot of questions when it comes to Wonder Vision. Yeah. Well, I mean, think about it even in this way when it comes to that. Uh, you know. Um, she didn't remember her anniversary either. Like, like the, she didn't remember anything. She, you know, I thought, there were see, I thought why it did was, they not have rings? I but thought it married. was. Her, see, I thought it was. She remembered the anniversary, and he didn't. No, she thought. Remember that was the whole gag, the scene in the in the uh, episode one was where they didn't know what that date meant. She thought it was uh, an anniversary. And he was, you know, realized that it was his boss coming over. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so, I mean, there was this confusion in her mind. So, but I keep thinking to myself, okay, if there's confusion in her mind, that makes no sense yeah, for her that's being like, the one that's in control of everything. That's like, yeah, you know, why don't we have wedding rings? Yeah, yeah. Or, like, oh, or then the part when they're in the bedroom and she's like, why are our beds pulled apart? I know, I know. If we're husband and wife, you know, like, so yeah, I don't feel like it's her that's really even creating the entirety of this world that they're in. Because, I mean, think about it even in this way. If it was her that was doing it, then why wouldn't she already have the world as it, as she would want it to be? Like, yeah, you know, uh, and like I said, that's just, uh, that's just, you know, I could be completely wrong on all of this. You know, I don't know. I have so many questions. And I, okay, a question I had was, you know, I didn't understand why they jumped decade to decade per episode, you know, because the first one was like a sitcom from the 50s, the next one was 60s, and then the 70s. And You know, my explanation for that when I saw uh, episode one and two, 
I thought she was running from something, whether it was sword or whether it was somebody else. I thought that was like she was uh, channel jumping, you know, kind of. You or know, you whoever, whoever really, like, or whoever's editing the show is running. Yeah. And trying yeah. to stay a step ahead of sword, you know. Yes, yes. But you, you remember like those old, you know, you'll see it in like cartoon series from time to time where they jump into a TV and then they go through the TV, you know, different channels. Almost, yeah. I thought it was a lot like that. That's what it reminded me of. But you're, you're, you know, you bring up a very good point. It could be somebody else controlling this that is the one that is time jumping it, not Wanda herself. That's time jumping. Yeah, because but, she just seems too confused all the time for me to yeah. feel like she's the mastermind of this evil plot. Yeah, she seemed very confused when it all kind of started turning to color. Like like that that kind of yeah like it, that creep that thing. freaked her out yeah I mean and there was things that uh, she just she there, there's just at times where she feels like or it looks like she feels uncomfortable in this world that she created where she's confused and she doesn't really know well it's kind of like the uh, was, uh, I think it, it was it's kind of like with the second episode when he swallowed the gum and was like acting drunk and she she didn't realize what was wrong with him until like you know so I feel like if she was really in control of something she could have just been like okay that's let's yeah, rewind that you yeah, know she could have been like well that didn't happen and then just rewound it back like you know yeah. there's, there's so many little things I know there's so many things about this series that it seems like it almost contradicts itself and I know at the very end we're going to find out the truth but it's just like yeah. every theory that I have uh, but is it going to be gonna, do you think it'll way. be do you think we'll really find that out this season or do you think they plan on it having mm -hmm. multiple seasons that actually is a really good question um, I would say I would say the success of this has probably made it where that they would carry it into. They want to continue two. it, you know. I would how think. Could you, how could you continue a series like this into season two? Like, I mean, but then how could you discontinue this when it's been as successful as it is? Yeah, I, mean, I know. Well, I, I know that's going to be the conundrum with this. I know. Yeah. I know that they're making a She-Hulk series, and they said that it was only going to be one season of that. So, um, you know, I don't know if that's what they're planning with a lot of these uh, series coming out. If it's like one season and done, or if it's, you know, going to be multiple seasons. I think, I think uh, Marvel was really thinking that it wasn't probably going to be a success. I, I, you know, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to be. <laughs> I didn't either. But... I, th I uh, think that they I've, think that they really got into it these, these last couple episodes I've really gotten into the show it's like yeah. I'm like looking for, like I can't wait till Friday so they can I can watch the next episode yeah I know but see Marvel I think is a little bit greedy in this aspect I feel like Marvel feels like they can make more money off of a movie than they can a series TV series see and I think at this point in time that's stupid to think that way because of everything. It's so hard to go to a movie theater and see something anymore. I mean, you take you so take. I feel like doing it series wise, and people, you know, pay for yeah. the streaming service. You'll make more money in the long run. Well, I mean, you take you take Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. To me, I didn't find that to be a particularly great movie. But it got uh, HBO Max a ton of subscribers. I I loved like, it. Uh, see, but I, see like, I liked 84 way better than the first one. Really? See, I was polar opposite on that one. But overall, I just kind of felt like that was I a know, movie we did that a video. if it was at theaters, it would have tanked. And if, uh, uh, and I felt I like think they made it, the most without, money they could think, that movie. I think without it going straight to HBO Max the way it did, mm -hmm. it would have been a complete failure. I think, I think it would have too. And I think that's why they decided against it. I don't think it was because of safety protocols or any of these other things. It's all about money with these people. 
You know, they were uh, wanting... I, I think so too, to an extent. Yeah. But, I mean, I know that a lot of a lot of movies are doing that. You know, they'll go yeah. to theater, but they're also coming out on HBO Max, like yeah, I th- I, or I, or Amazon Prime, or and, and, you know. And I kind of feel like it doesn't do theaters any good to get half. No, the I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so either. And I think that. I th- I think that that's part of, you know, we did videos about this in the past. I think that's part of the future of our entertainment is on streaming services. Oh, yeah, it's I definitely not think it theaters is. And it's not movie theaters and DVDs anymore. No, it's not. And it's, a, you know, it's kind of almost, it, we're, we're kind of in this brave new world like situation with it because that's something that, you know, 10 years ago you would have never thought. And then no, now look and, at things. And I mean, and it, if you you really think about that though, uh, ten fifteen years ago you would have never thought that. But uh, thirty years ago you never would have thought they would have got off of VHS. I know, so, I know. Like, I know. I mean, you know. So times are changing, and I think the movies and how we view them is changing as well. Um, but overall, I would say when it comes to this series of Wandavision. Um, I would love for it to be Doctor Strange to be the one that actually is the one that. Uh, See, I takes I, her would, down. I would I would like I would like Vision. You like Vision? But, I think Vision would but, be really heartbreaking, and I don't even know if I even want to see it that way. But at the same I, time, it would I, be I the most compelling. I personally would because I yeah I think that I think that uh, heartbreak is part of ratings, you know. Yeah. Like, and I feel like but, that uh, would be. That would be a touching and really tragic, tragic end to this story. But I could see how she doesn't believe that Vision would be... Uh, uh, he wouldn't be happy with this situation. That's why she's keeping no, I, it from No, I, I, I definitely don't think... No, absolutely right. It, uh, on that, and if, she, if she thought he would be accepting to this, she would have already told him. Why would she hide it? Yeah, I, I unless, think so. Unless, like I said, she's not in full control and she just, you know... You know, they're, you know, they're talking about, you know, you know, and all these rumors and things, you know, Mephisto, he's going to be playing a big role in other series and movies, so... It would I thought me that he was. He I thought and maybe that he is the big bad guy of this. I don't know. I thought that big, big wig woman on Wandavision was his witch. I did too. Uh, uh, and I'm still not. Yeah, Agnes. I couldn't or think Agnes, of the yeah, name Agnes. of them. But uh, um, I'm still not convinced that she's not. No, there's a part of me. You know, she was. Let's see. Because, like I, I said, when when they were talking to her through the radio, she cut herself with that glass and distracted Wanda from the radio. What do you? So she had she. I feel like she had something to do with that situation at the very least. What do you? What, uh, see, Agnes brought up that uh, in that scene of uh, the devil's in the details, and that's not the only other place he is. And then my husband looks better in the dark, and and uh, her her. Um, the date that she says is her anniversary is actually the date of the Salem witch trials. So I mean, you remember the uh, you remember the whole when she cut herself thing, the thing about when the that's when color really started coming into this. Well, that this was that was uh, that was the uh, blonde-haired woman. See, uh, that's who I was talking about. Oh, that's who you're talking about. See, her. I could. You know what? That would be something because. Uh, Ag- uh, Agnes does mention about her. I don't remember her name. Because they're like, oh, if you, if you want to survive here, you got to, yeah. yeah, if you want to survive here, you got to impress her. Mm-hmm. And then she she's the one that cut herself to distract Wanda from the radio. Mm-hmm. And then she, she made the comment about um, how do you wash blood off of something like that. You know what, that's actually a really interesting take on it that I've never thought about on it. I could potentially see that. It does, Agnes makes that comment about, you know, she's basically the queen bee and over everything that's in here. So, I mean, yeah. you know, you and, know, and like, like I was saying, you know, my, I, I, keep, I keep going to 
Wanda was focusing on them talking to her through the radio, and then she created a thing to distract her for whatever reason. There's some reason behind that, and I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, overall, I mean, I think that it's gonna there's gonna be a couple of twists and turns. There's so yeah, I'm, and, and like I said, you know, that was one thing even from the beginning of the. Like first episode, I didn't care for the first two episodes, but I I was intrigued on where they were going, and now it's like every episode my intrigue just increases and increases. Yeah. So I'm almost I'm kinda, looking forward to figuring it out for I, sure. I, I'll throw out one. I'll throw out one more theory that I was thinking about. What if you know? Of course, this all started because of of her love for Vision, but now what if Vision it tries to break up? you know her and her children and then she turns against him because of that uh i mean that could be something too i mean where where you know she turns against him and maybe ends him to save her children i mean that could be something too you know uh to to kind of think about too uh i think there's i think that there's a few more twists and turns that we haven't seen that, uh, there's definitely there's definitely something's gonna go on with kids for sure. We you know, know that, that Paul Bettany he did say that plays Vision. He did say that each episode from this point on will be you know it'll be a head scratcher. It'll be it'll add to the confusion even more on it. So you know that's and, and you know that's what I that's what I was kind of telling you the other night. Yeah, I was like. The, they had said the cast had said that answers were going to get answered in this next episode, and they did. But they also yeah, left yeah. you with even more questions. I like, know, I know. <laughs> but overall, I mean, I would say, you know, like I said, my perfect take on it would, if 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 I was the showrunner of it, I would have the I would not have a series finale of it. I would have it. I would have it continue on until the Doctor Strange movie. Make that movie the ending would, of WandaVision. That's how you know I would me, like if, it. But if, I also if, understand if I, how it would be poetic the, justice for Vision. You know, it. yeah, it would be. But if I was the showrunner, I would stretch it out as long as possible. I would too. All money. I, mean, I could, but you know, you know, them making as much money off of it as what they're making, it would not shock me even if they had planned on one season. To continue this on and milk it and, for as long and as you know, I And I feel like, I'm not just talking about Marvel, but I feel like that's something that Disney Plus has really been needing is more original content mm -hmm. that can take them, like compete with Netflix and, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and I think they finally got it. In fact, I would say almost they're, the, they're at the forefront of that now. I mean, it's going to be them so and HBO no, Max from here that's on what, out. Well, and I, it's like I told you, like with with the WandaVision, I think they're they're gonna. I think they can take they could possibly take off with these series from Marvel further than what they did with the Mandalorian. No, oh, I think so too. Uh, I mean, I think the Mandalorian <laughs> is going to pale in comparison to like something like WandaVision. Uh, I, I do too, and like when I first started watching One Vision, there's no way in hell I would have mm, said that. No, no, I thought, I thought, how am I going to make it past the first episode? Is what I was thinking. That's when you really told me to watch it, about it. when but, you told but me I'm to glad watch I continued it, watching it. I've really got into it. I love the show overall. Oh, uh, I, I am too. I am too. But when, like I said, when you first told me to watch it, I put it on, and I was like, "What mm -hmm. the hell did he tell me to watch?" I know. I know, I was thinking that too. I was like, he ain't going to like this show. But I thought the same thing about my wife. I thought my wife, there's no way she would get into this show. And then now, she's like, let's binge watch this show. And I'm like, ugh. It's hard to binge watch something when you only get one episode a week, though. I know, I know. You know, that's the one thing, you know. But I do think that uh, WandaVision, honestly, even though I did not enjoy the first two episodes now that I knew where it's going I could go back and rewatch I could do I could do I think that's a show I've, I mean I've watched each episode a couple times so this is I a show not. that I can rewatch and enjoy it because see, I, I, I haven't I, I haven't time. yet but I feel like I could you know? yeah yeah I feel like this is a show that I definitely could uh, see myself you know as a classic watching it over and over again and you know it's a, and you know we've talked about before you know 
being able to watch something with your kids and not being able to watch something with your kids. Yes, this is one show yes. you can watch I, with your kids. Actually, Steve, Stevie, real, my son, he uh, he really enjoyed mm-hmm. the all yeah. of them. You know, like the when it was black and white. He was like, "What are you watching?" And yeah, so he got into he got into it just because it was black and white. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I know Jensen and Brooklyn. I think they were thinking it was just like a uh, old timey. <laughs> that's you know that's how watching. that's how I feel. I feel like I was watching a. I'll be honest. When mm-hmm. I first watched it, I felt like I was watching a bad remake of Bewitched. Bewitched. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that feeling. That's kind of the way I felt towards it too. I was like, "This is." This and that is was kind of, that was why I was remake. like, "What did he tell me to watch?" Mm-hmm. I, I <laughs> the first episode was hard for me, but then when I've rewatched it, I've enjoyed it more. The first time I yeah. watched it, I was like, "This is garbage." I, I hate see, it. See, I, I could, I could see the. Enjoy, that's what I was saying. I, I could see myself going back and rewatching them and yeah, enjoying definitely. them more, more the second time around than I did the yeah. first. But and overall, actually, I, I might would catch more things. But yeah, yeah, that's it for me. I'm really excited to see where they go with it, and I just can't wait. I can't wait until Friday. Uh, for episode five but overall guys let us know what y'all think and uh as always guys thanks for watching and y'all take care